everybody to some old school shaving. I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I know I've been quiet for the last few weeks. <clears throat> I've had a few busy weekends. Last weekend um, I did something really adventurous. I'll tell you about that shortly. But before I get into that, um, it's time for my shave. Um, today is Monday, the 1st of May, it's Workers' Day, and I'll be using this. It is Bloom. It is a collab between Pasture Pharmacy and Master Soap Creations. This is what the paw looks like. I've used this a couple of times. I love the design and the scent um, and um, label design. It's matte finish, very classy. This is a homage to Tom Ford. Black Orchid. It's a very classy, sophisticated scent which I quite enjoy. But what I enjoy most is the performance of the soap. Um, our hardware for today will be this. We'll be using my Simpsons Commodore X3 in this badger. And um, let's get down to my pre shave. I just put a little bit of water on the buck. This is called the People's Pre-Shave as dubbed by Shark from Dapper Shave. It works very well in terms of preparing the beard for a shave. I could, the soap is super slick. I've come to take Master Soap Creation soaps for granted because um, in terms of their performance and so forth. Um, it's really very, very good. These products are exceptional and I really enjoy using them. I enjoy testing them. And overall, it fills me up with a great sense of pride knowing that this is homegrown on South African soil and it's taking markets by storm internationally. Let's get loaded. So I'm going to rinse my hands. These soaps lather so easily. Oops. everywhere but just goes to show how easily the soap lathers absolutely amazing Those birds really irritate me. They're called hardy does. It's um, part of the ibis family. And I wake up to them each day. You know you're in South Africa when you hear a hardy does. of this lather on my face. I'm going to clean up the puck. I'm going to rinse this tub a bit. It's clean. I don't think I've released a video in the past two or three weeks. I really missed it.
Those of you who follow me on Instagram, you would have seen what I got up to last weekend. Myself and um, three friends. We did a hike to 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 Gala Falls. I'll drop a reel in shortly. We went with um, Hidden Gem South Africa, a guy by the name of Hamza. Such a knowledgeable guy and we really enjoyed it. Just gonna add some water in here. Up the hydration. I have about 36 hours worth of growth to mow down. And I've been looking forward to this shape. We have enough lather. Yeah, so we, we hiked up to um, to Gela Falls, which is the officially as of 2018 is the tallest waterfall in the world. Unfortunately, it wasn't flowing much because it's our dry season in South Africa, but the experience was so amazing. We uh, pushed ourselves to our limits and beyond, and we had a truly awesome experience. We stayed overnight in a cave called Crow's Nest Cave. It was my first time we stayed in a cave. We drank water straight from the river, from the to Gela Rabba and uh, I've never experienced anything like that in my life. Okay, enough talking, let's get to the shape. Let's crank up the brightness here a bit. Okay, our reason for, day, for today is this beauty. It is an Hayashi Diamond 8000. It's beautiful, look at this. It's a full hollow grind razor, Japanese. I love it. Okay, let's get shaving. is such a pleasure to use. I think I nicked my ear. Anyways, I wasn't paying attention.
razor takes a very, very keen edge. And what I enjoy about it is the stiffness of the grind. This is a very subtle scent. I enjoy it very much. Um, I'll drop the scent notes down here. If you're having a good weekend so far, or you've had a good weekend, it's a holiday in South Africa today. It's Monday the 1st of May, Workers' Day. Let's lather up for second pass. This lather is amazing. What I enjoy about Master Soap Creation Soaps is that you can bump up the hydration and the lather remains stable. I think we're good to go. Let's do some cleaning up. Let's do a second pass. Right, here goes. What amazes me about this razor is the um, edge longevity. This was honed by Shark from Dapper Shapes. I've been using it for over a year now and the edge is still as good as day one. I think that's testimony to the honing skills of Jacques and also the grind and temper of this razor. I think this is this may be Sheffield steel. I know the Japanese love to use Sheffield steel.
If anyone can tell me why they use mostly Sheffield steel, I'd love to know. Perhaps it had something to do with trade, trade relations between Japan and the British. Who knows? Because for some reason, I don't see many Solingen vintage Japanese razors. I may be wrong. Residual slickness on the soap is first class. I really enjoyed. Just need a touch more lather over here. Boy, I'm really enjoying this. But we have some blood. I think I'm using too much pressure. Sorry about the blood. Let's do a um, full pass. Okay. Let's do this. to the other side.
Don't know why I have so many Reapers today. Perhaps it has something to do with my skin condition. I uh, did a running race yesterday, only at 10 k and um, but I don't think I hydrated enough after the race. Okay. Let's do some touching up using just the residual slickness. That's good. I think I'm happy. Okay, let's rinse and we'll do post shave. We'll use the um, matching splash. This is what it looks like. It's uh, primarily a witch hazel and rose water and essential oil splash. It's non-alcohol based. Okay. <sighs> that smells amazing. with the result thank you everybody thanks for watching have a blessed week ahead take care stay blessed namaste